Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Pink Pony Studios, and today is another Wednesday morning. It is very, very early. My mom is actually not here with me. She is trying to catch a few more Z's before work this morning. But it is Gotland Pony morning, and I have 1,219 star coins. So I have determined it safe to get a Gotland Pony today. For those of you who don't know, Star Stable yesterday released a better look at the two new magic horses coming out. I do not remember their names right now, but they are rock-based. They are rock-based. They are druid, rune, uh, what are they? They're druid stone cutter horses. And one is a perfectly made rune stone, and the other is a, I think they called it a corrupt and vengeful being. And they are after my own heart with that one. I'll put images up. Um, but they're after my own heart with that dark rock one because it reminds me very much of my own girl, Lava. How I would actually render Lava in a realistic or a more realistic setting than my own work. I'll also, I can probably also drop a picture of Lava up alongside because that's my baby and that's what she would look like. Very similar. In the meantime, I can go get a Gatlin pony because those horses don't come out until March and they will be 750 because they are on the Clydesdale. So this morning we are heading to South Hoof Farm. Now I know exactly what pony I want. Um, <laughs> which speaking of lava, I have the Black Lusitano. Um, which looks a lot like her, and the oh wait 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 I haven't been here since they've changed things. Oh, look at this. Yeah, lava looks a lot like the Gotland, like the um, Lusitano, but the face marking on the little Gotland pony over here is also very very similar, and. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead with this guy. However, I'm going to back up and see this person. And as you can see, the Gotlands can wear the new medieval bridles, as can every new Gen 3 horse passive regions. So I have two bridles in my inventory that I'm going to try on our little Gotland pony. I thought about getting the splash like this person, but I actually think I'm just going to go with the regular black one. But let's see. We've got a standard bay. No markings, very cute. Look at that face. I like their little lip wiggles. Now I was also torn on this fella. Because this mealy, this pangare chestnut is absolutely adorable. I mean, look at Look, and then the eyelashes too. The eyelashes are very visible in one that's this light. And I'm getting the black one, but also I'll go to that one later. But here's the buckskin. This is the one I've heard that has been very, very popular. It's the little buckskin with the big old snip. I like the sun bleaching on the mane and tail too. That's a very, a very nice touch. And then the black splash. Now I think the one thing that bothers me about the black splash is the marking on the back leg back here. I wish this all would have been white like the other side, but that's just me being super picky. Um, that coat is also very, very cute. However, I have, I don't know, I'm so very picky with my splashes and his markings are just very, are, are just way too round for me. So, I am going to go with this little guy, but I don't know what to name him. So instead of making this um, terrible for me to edit, I'm actually going to pause the recording right here and just pick back up when I figure out what I'm naming him. Okay, so I've had this name saved actually for a little while. Um, I totally forgot about it until right now, but if you name a horse Grim Ace, the horse's name is actually Grimace. So I'm going to call this little pony Grimace. I want this to be a little goth pony. So this is going to be Grimace. Here we go. Hey 
Your new horse will be delivered to your home stable. Perfect. Ooh, I'm so excited. Can't wait to ride around on little goth boy. <laughs> Like I said, I have a couple bridles to choose from here. He should be in this stall in the middle. There he is, Grimace. Oh, oh, it's beautiful dapples and hair texture. Wow. All right, little buddy. I should take shoes off of somebody, but I don't remember who right now has shoes on. Okay, you do. I try to leave tack sets on all my horses, um, just in case because everybody has their own individual tax set. Um, I also gotta decide what pet I want with this guy, which I think I'm gonna go with the spider. I think I'm gonna go with the spider. So. <laughs> okay, you don't have any I have a couple outfits in here that I could put on him. We'll go with that bridle for now. Yep, that's good. Spider. Or shoes. You know, I still don't really care for these old saddles, so... What I'm gonna do is... Just very quickly... Steal... A saddle... From... You. <laughs> oh, now my inventory's a mess. I'm also gonna steal that bridle. Give you that one for now. Sorry, buddy. And do I want that pad or the spider one? Let's go with that pad. That pad's cool. And saddlebag and spider. Oh, I'm so small. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> I have these from Halloween. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go. We'll take this little bad boy out for a spin. <laughs> Alright, so before I do any races, let's check out the gates. Alright, there's our walk. Our trot. That's very nice. I like that action. Slow canter. That's really nice. Gallop, you know, hand gallop. Cute. Alright, and then this is our full blown. I like that their little ears go back. I like that he looks angry. <laughs> he had grimace. <laughs> There's a sliding stop. 
rear. Oh, that's a very nice rear. Now, do these guys have a special move? No, they do not. No special move. Okay. I'm going to make sure they don't have some kind of special gate. Nope. Which would make sense because they are 750. But I really like him. And actually because there, I'm going to switch on to that saddle pad so that the red matches. <laughs> There's the backup. Also very nice. I will rear again. Did they adjust us on there? Or are we always like that? I think we're always like that. Anyway, he looks really cool. I'm going to do some races, but let's check out the global store because there are new halters. So there are leather halters that are just plain English leather halters. Looks like they've got a little detailing across the nose. Oh, they do. They have like little stars across the nose. So there is black leather, medium brown leather, light tan, white, and then they come in pastel nylon. So we have blue nylon. pink, purple, and green. Now they have no stats. They're just for show. Whereas the, um, the other ones actually do have stats. Not that one though. <laughs> See, like these actually have stats. Or do they? This one does. Yeah, that one has stats. Hmm. I might buy a nice black leather halter just to just to have. Just to hang on to. We've already seen what it looks like equipped, so I'm not gonna bother putting it on. But I am gonna do a handful of races here to level up this pony. Oh, the jump is very nice. Ooh. <laughs> Got sproing. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I really do like the jump on this pony. It's very nice. I told my friends, actually one of them messaged me and was like, oh man, now that the ponies can wear the the Frisian bridles or the medieval bridles, someone's gonna do like a little goth pony. And I said, yeah, that somebody is me. <laughs> Like, I'm so doing, I'm so making him a little goth pony. I think I am going to actually switch back over to this. Yeah, and I need the horned bridle for this morning, <laughs> for sure. Um, leg wraps, though, I think are going to come off. As you guys can see, I'm going to have like a hard time figuring out what exactly to put on this pony. Well, and there you have it, Pony Pals. This has been a video on the Gotland the new Gotland Pony. I will get this up as soon as possible. They are really, really cute. I actually, I love this little guy. So if you're on the fence, 
I am totally in love with this new breed. And then we also have those beautiful new magic, ho magic horses to look for next month. So don't forget to subscribe, Pony Pals. A lot of you aren't subscribed and you totally should be because we do some awesome stuff. Like the Briar 2021 horses are coming in soon. We hope they're coming in soon. Anyway, um, Briar keeps telling us that they are delayed, but we are anxiously waiting. Briarfest news videos are always on the way as Briar keeps adding more and more things to their roster for Briarfest. Equilocity is also going to be soon approaching. So there's a lot to look forward to this year and we hope that you will hang around and experience it with us. All right, Pony Pals, I will see you in the next video. Bye.